Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to Europa Universalis for playing as the amazing country of Russia. In the last episode, um, we got rid of Kazan. We have Bashkiria as our vassal. And I'm pretty sure I'm about to go to war with these guys. Now we can use some ideas. We have a revolt. We have lots of revolts everywhere, so that's something we will have to deal with today. Uh, and then I'm going to try and get as many... Mm, as many of the things that I can get done today. Very strongly considering... Oh, here we go. We're going to reduce the effectiveness of Rebels. We're going to get some autonomy lowered. And we might as well... Raise 25 Streltsy. There we go. Let's see... Ah, he's not that good. Not that good either. He's got a pretty good siege ability, though. I also found out that pretty much... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get good generals. And we just need to go to war with people. I mean, that's just pretty much what it is. We can't go to war with Crimea because they're guaranteed by Lithuania. I want to go to war with like these small countries. We could go to war with these guys. Maybe we could drag Bukhara in. Uh, you know what? Well, no, we just have so many rebels to deal with. But we have our Stutaltsi. So that wouldn't matter. Okay, let's bring these guys in and then we'll go to war with them. Diplomatic move. Diplomacy between nations was affected by random factors. Yeah. Appointing a diplomat. We're going to go to war with them. Russia claims on the steppes immediately after the fall of Astrakhan, the year 5057. Ivan IV launched a campaign in the steppes south of Kazan, the realm of the Nogai Horde, heirs of some Mongol people. This was the first stepping stone for the expansion eastward. The Russian expansion eastward led between 1516 and 1581 by Cossacks under Yermak and the private venture of the Stroganov merchants of Nizhny Novgorod has seen much land fall under control of the Russian Tsar. Conquest of the Khanate is severe in 1584 and destruction of the large realm of Genghis Khan's heirs in Siberia was the last step for the exploration and control of the vast hinterland that would eventually see the Cossacks build cities out of their Ostrogs uh, and reach the Pacific Ocean at Osh o Okolsht in 1645. Um, let's do this. Uh, sure. Onward to battle, man. Keep these guys here for rebel suppression. Country is at war. Great Synod. Sure. Uh, we need to... Bada bing, bada boom. Russia's occupied lots of places. Now, pretty much these guys, they don't have a lot of troops. I think between them, they have less than 30,000. The icon of Elysia has been forgotten. We are actually going to increase that again. Um, we have 20%. I'm going to do rem and discipline. We're going to be constantly going to wars. We might as well. Our army tradition is only is not being changed by that much. The Russian Orthodox Church declares independence, liberating it from the Tatar invaders. The Muscovite state gathered strength, and so did the Russian Orthodox Church. In 1448, not long before the Byzantine Empire collapsed, the Russian Church became, in effect, independent from the Patriarchate of Constantinople. Motro, uh, Metropolitan Jonas, installed by the Council of Russia, Russian bishops in 1448, was given the title of Metropolitan of Moscow in all Russia. Centuries to come, the growing might of the Muscovite state went hand in hand with the growing authority of the uh, Autocephalous Church. In 1589, Jeremiah II, Patriarch of Constantinople, fleeing from Turkish oppressors, visited Moscow. Russians managed to persuade him to appoint Metropolitan Joe of Moscow, a patriarch. The final move towards the full independence. If we do that, if we don't do that, Russia gains a claim on all of those places and we lose 50 Patriarch authority. We gain 10 Patriarch authority as well as a stability. Relating of the true faith, and then we have different countries that like us even more. Oh, 
go up there. We're just swarming over them. They got a solid 20-something thousand men down there. What are our ideas? We could do religious unity. Absolutely. We discovered an agent. Not an agent. Russia has occupied Agon. Army tradition, are you increasing? Oh my word. So we need to do things that will decrease decay. That's pretty important. We have 27,000 men. Let's go over here. Let's go right here. We're going to corner them and kind of wipe them out. Hopefully stack wipe them would be the idea. Pushing them back. We need to we need to capture these guys. We're pretty much in the flatlands over here, so this isn't something we should be uber concerned about. We do have too many military leaders, but I'm not really concerned about that. We're just gonna slowly push them south. Sickness of Tsaritsa. Uh, Yulila the first. Uh, delegate more to the provinces. Yeah, that's fine. Don't know where this dude is. Lithuania is doing stuff. We have to find a good ally. I just don't know who that would be. Everyone hates us. Well, actually, ooh, ooh, uh, let's, let's improve relations while we're in this war. We may be able to drag Denmark into this. Into a war. What I'm afraid of is that Lithuania is going to bring us in somehow. new war taxes sure we are sieging boyars are going to war with someone end of religious turmoil those guys are going after them oh, good a revolt 20,000 soldiers can I potentially get let's improve relations with these guys as well and then over here in the Sweden siege is over with another revolt We're gonna be dealing with a lot of revolts dude Let's go ahead and just move up. We gotta take care of these revolts. Sharing faiths or faults. Yearly legitimacy goes up. We've got revolts popping up everywhere. Meet this together over there. The Chosen Council. I should have read that. I didn't read it. 27,000 up here. We're at over there. Awesome. Let's move up. 40,000 troops going up against those guys. We are actually losing quite a bit of manpower. We're still short 5,000 men. Terrain's flat. This is the point right here. 
Oh, come on! Colony is self-sustaining. Brilliant. Let's get these guys down here. We could get a wharf. There's no ideas that we can do. What does this take? This takes... Oh, well, that's dumb. Yeah, we really have to focus on things that get us our army tradition up a little bit. Come on! Foreign Affairs. We don't need their crap. We can use something. We can get 25 more Streltsy. This is just ridiculous. Yeah, and we're down by a lot. 26,000 men. There we go. Take it all back, boys. No, we're going to maintain our diplomat there. What else do we have to conquer? We have this area over here. Cool. Holy crap, man. We are down 32,000 men. National unrest, let's do that. We're gonna have to end this war soon. Very, very soon. There we go. We're starting to really get it all down. There we go. I like that. The growth of the printing industry is going to be our next thing. We need to call for peace. So at least get to like 80. 80%? No, we'll do this. We have no diplomats. That helps a lot. Like, majorly. Let's just go ahead and get our troops pulled out. Maintain a diplomat there. Ah, they have some money. That's not what I'm really concerned about. What I do want is all of your land. Release the nations. Yeah, we'll go ahead and break you up. Uh, we need war reparations. You're going to annul your treaties to the Kiva. Actually, to the Orot. There we go. Oirot. Oops, I didn't actually send that. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? No, let's actually, no, let's screw the poor thing. Because I need you to give me money first. And then actually I want that. That works. We now have to chill out.
Uh, there we go. Sweet. How's this war going for them? Lithuania. Currently has more troops than we do with a heck of a lot more manpower. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off all of our forts. Hopefully getting a little bit of money back. So I have a lot of rebels. Uh, and then we can, let's see, what is, what, 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 what are we doing? The sweating sickness. Salvation and piety are the only answers. Let's do that. Puts us in the negative diplomatically, but that's okay. The Empire of China. Wait, we actually have a pretty good value of... The mandate value represents the authority... Oh, of the current emperor. Okay. May take the following diplomatic actions. That's funny. It would be hilarious if I became the mandate of China. Yeah, no one considers me... A valid target for that, which is fine. I don't really care to be. We got 30,000 men we have to worry about recovering from. Uh, and I might just do the Threltsy again. Our stability increase costs. But that's okay. Recruitment time and land maintenance modifier goes down. Create a proper fleet, incorporate Euroslavo, or defeat Lithuania. I don't think that's going to be able to be done very easily. This guy sucks. This guy's not much better. Our army tradition is actually going down now. So yeah, the next time we need to get into... Oh, 14, good lord. I don't really know that I want this at this point. Free slot. I'm sure people are freaking out by what I just did. Which is fine. Uh, let's see. We need to get things. Naval ideas. Quality ideas. Yearly army tradition plus one. This gives me yearly army tradition plus one right off the bat. Offensive ideas gives me land leader shock plus one. Which basically means my leaders will automatically have plus one shock. Land leader fire. And prestige from land battles. Morale of armies. Land leader maneuver plus one. <coughs> I would almost rather just have... <coughs> excuse me, guys. Had a weird little cough there. I would almost rather just have... Yearly army tradition right up front. But this is really good. I don't know, man. Offensive ideas. I think I'd almost rather go defensive. Because this gives me army tradition and then gives me morale. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go defensive. I'm going to do this guy. And then here in a little bit, we'll be able to get that other one. They are still in a war. Poland would still come in. Denmark. They are currently at war with Lithuania. We currently have too many diplomatic relations as well as too many leaders. Uh, we need to make a proper fleet. Lithuania no longer considered a great power. How many troops does Lithuania have? They have 53. Here's the deal, though. If I did that, Lithuania would come in. The glory of the army. I like that. As well. Uh, the Commedia de la Deformance is. Hear ye, hear ye. Let's lose Pantalone, Harlequin, and all the other stock characters of the traditional yada yada and watch as they entertain. 
Yearly prestige. No, I don't want those distractions. Robber barons. We must curb such excess. There we go. Uh, we will defeat Lithuania. Still down 23,000 men. How much do we get? We get 827 a turn. Or a month. Sorry. We won that battle. Kind of quell unrest here. But what's really cool is look at this diplo power. It's all it takes. How cool is that? And we could like leave this army up here. Are they still at war? They aren't. If we declared war, Poland would still come in. And Poland has quite a few many troops as well. Lithuania only has 32 though. Something we could take advantage of. We could get over there in time. Um, and then, let's see. September of 54, we get a boost to our morale. I have a feeling we're going to kind of have to stay in this area for a while. Just because of all these guys. Age of Reformation, what are the things we need to do? Secrets in our alliance. No, just try and cut them off from important affairs. Basically, basically Denmark has done sneaky, sneaky, terrible things. Let's see, they are allied with Brabant. If I could get a, a, an alliance with Hungary, that would be amazing. Spread of disease, we will assuage. Yeah, we're just... No positives there. Lots of positives here. A two-star general over there. Very nice. Good for them. Ugh. Yeah, if we could always just have our army tradition going up, that would be fantastic. I don't know if it works like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure if it's like anything else, it's just automatically. Will always decay. Hit him. Hey, you don't have a general now. I don't think they'll come after me since they just got done with their war there. They'll need to recover a little bit. I just really wish I could get them to... Like Lithuania. Come on, guys. Cannon fodder? Appears our country is getting rather empty. Yertle Slavl? No, that's fine. That works, actually. Russia's allied to Hungarian rival Denmark. Well, if that's the only difference... Denmark, I don't think, has that many troops. Denmark has 24,000. How much does Hungary have? Only has 12. So really, if I want to ally with anyone, it needs to be Denmark. We're almost there. Rebel successful. Uh... Uh, tolerance of heretics plus three percent. Ah, I shouldn't have done that because I'm working towards my admin power. Dang it! Oh well, that's fine. The Netherlands declare independence. Oh wow! All right. Gain some core provinces as well as some army morale. Diplomatic insult. against Shervan. Oh, well, hello there. 
How many troops does Shervan have? They only have 9,000. You picked the wrong day to be a dick. To me, my friends. Gain some more core provinces. Just remember, you did this to yourself. You have no one else to blame. Truce with Mongolia has expired. And we're just gonna swarm over them. What you get? Uh, and then that will pretty much guarantee that we don't get an alliance with the Ottomans. Denmark and Hungary. Come on, man. Go faster. Please. Only 10,000 short. We just get so many. We, I mean, we get 831 every single time. Oh, what we need to do here is we need to core some um, Astrakhan. Let's actually go to Kazan. I think it was right over here. There you go, Kazan. Make that into a territory. Or a state. You're all. Absolutely. Comp, excuse me, comma. I don't know where that is. Okay. Sure. Saratov. I thought Saratov was over here. Nope, Saratov. Okay. Uh, Bashiki... Bashkiria. Just because they have a lot of development. Astrakhan. Thought it was over here, but apparently it isn't. Astrakhan, there we go. It'll do. The lower Yik, which I do believe is right over here. And that'll be it for now. This actually gives us a lot of things that we have to worry about. And then, in terms of government, we could... Oh, we do have them there, okay. Uh, missionary strength. Plus 2%, I'll actually take that right now. Land maintenance modifier. Diplomatic reputation. There we go. We've been missing out on that. There we go. We can start getting more people. Uh, current patriarch, we have the icons of St. Michael. I don't know where these guys' troops are. Native assimilation. We'll take it. Oh, they're in another war. Actually, become my vassal. Get Shervan, Tarvistan, and Bukharat. I know we have too many, but that's okay. New trade, good copper. Military leader has left us. We're getting a little better. Not great, but better. 14,000 men. Don't diplomatically insult me now. No other prince is as brave as our Pavel. Military tactics and organization has always been a great interest to him. In addition to his daily sword practice, he spends many hours studying the art of war. Last few months, he's become better acquainted 
With one of our most respected commandants, and he in turn has taken our prince under his wing, teaching Pavel everything he wished to know. Now Prince Pavel has asked us to make a commandant an offer, claiming that he'd make a much better advisor than the Grand Captain. Gain a three skill. Um, sure. Three skill, I'm sure, is going to be very expensive. Seven ducats. Sorry. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Can't justify it. It's 14. So that means very soon we'll have a new king. The clergy needs more space. Uh, let's actually give them areas that are Sunni. That way we'll hopefully be able to kind of quell the... Well, the area. They're orthodox. Orthodox. And you're still not, you're still not satisfied? You greedy, greedy people. There we go. Boom. The Evangelical Union in Austria? There we go. Okay. So Denmark. Ah, oh, crap. Mm. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to lose 25 prestige. I can't go to war with Lithuania right now. Lithuania has too many troops. I mean, I have almost 100,000. I'm sure I could actually almost raise 20... 28 more. But if Lithuania comes in, that probably means Poland comes in. They promise territorial gains from us. How big is Sweden? Sweden's got 13,000, so that's not the biggest deal. Um, I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. Let me know if you want me to go to war with these barbarians. I mean, to go to war with Lithuania. And I just don't know that I can take them on at the moment. So let me know in the comment section down below. On that, guys, that'll be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Haven't already hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. This is Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.